What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, you know the vibes, man. We back with another Dimension 2 video. Listen, this video is a little different today. Uh, I definitely wanted to break this down because I thought it was important and I finally got a response from Yannick and it was about PvP. And I feel like a lot of times, us as content creators, we get so excited with new content, new drops, new whatever, that um, we kind of forget about all the things of old that, you know, aren't good for the game. So, you know, I, I was getting a little frustrated myself with just like different content creators in regards to just some of these questions never coming up. And I was just wondering like, what is it gonna take for creators to like care about PVP? Like even when, you're, when you guys are having these conversations, like, you know, people are running with Yannick, playing with Yannick, and like the conversations aren't really about the things that don't work or the things that can make PvP good again. Because there's two aspects of the game, right? It's a double-edged sword, it's a two-sided coin, however you want to phrase it. But I think the most important part that we're missing is that we don't really... How do I explain this? Like we don't really have people, you know, on board that's gonna really speak up for, for PvP. And, you know, and I feel like even when people do it, it's kind of like, you know, it's like a half-ass response. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's like, man, I want people to like really care about PvP just so the game can be great on both ends. Or if you're going to drop content, you can't say you care about PvP and then all of the content, all of the DLCs, all of the additions, everything we add to the game is pve content so for me it gets super frustrating as somebody that mains this game and mains pvp so you know um i wrote a detailed message to yannick and it read it read it read just like this so my message just says i love what i have been seeing from the division community and the energy you know just to come back to the game and play because you know people are coming back and playing so I said, however, I think we all can agree that Yannick being more available for questions is helpful. I believe the goal is for us to understand the game has support going forward. So that's what, another thing I wanted to do was acknowledge him for being as available as he is to the community to the point where people feel connected and think, you know what? At least he's here, right? And that's what the, that's the thought. That's the process. It's like, yo, how upset can you be? The guy's here, man. He's answering questions. He's being available. So, you know, I, I then commented with the second tweet that said, I have seen multiple creators speak with Yannick and others have been have even played with him. Yet no one is asking simple questions for PvP. And that's another thing I was talking about. I was like, what is it going to take for somebody to say, hey, Yannick, PvP isn't working the way we think it should be working. What are you doing about it? Or what's going to be done so i asked again when is balancing coming to pvp because balancing has never been a part of the game since the game launched right no balancing nothing's going on no changes and i said how have skills never been balanced or even nerfed and, and when i said that a lot of people get upset like why are you asking for skills to be nerfed like the shield got nerfed the shield didn't do damage to nobody um the eagle bearer got nerfed the lady death got nerfed twice uh, anything that's powerful that has nothing to do with skills, they nerf to the ground. So for skills to not be touched at all, to me, is completely unbalanced and no, and no one taking accountability for that is a problem. And then I said, we got the chest swap glitch. That's still amongst other things. Like, you know, the chest swap glitch is not fixed in the PTS. People are still doing it. I'm seeing people do it with my own eyes. It's still going on. And then I said, do the future plans like, do the plans for the future include PvP? Because right now, it doesn't feel that way. Every single thing we get is PvE related, and we bring it to the dark zone. So sometimes people interpret that as, oh, we got, y'all got stuff. No, we actually didn't get anything. We just got some PvE items and brought it to the dark zone, and sometimes it changes the meta, and sometimes it doesn't, right? So then Yannick responds with a tweet that says, I agree, there's more work needed to address the main outliers in PvP. Shield was the one we decided to focus on for this update. That doesn't include more changes in the future. So what I got from this tweet is that Yannick is basically just trying to tell us something more than we're investigating. Because that has been the generic response for almost everything that's been said. And if you guys go over to my Twitter, man, uh, you know the vibes on all platforms, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, everywhere. You got to look at the comment section. It's insane. Everybody's just like 
the bouncing ideas off each other. It was a good debate today. So, you know, I want to know what you guys think. Um, I do think we're going to get changes for PvP. But see, I think the people when people say changes and things coming, people think like, oh, PvP is going to get a mode. PvP is going to get a dark zone in the New York. Like, that doesn't mean huge DLC. It doesn't mean huge outlier or huge content. It just means that they're going to be making changes in the future, which to me told me that they don't have anybody working on that part of the game yet. And they've been transparent with the fact that they don't have employees. They're looking for employees. They're trying to hire people that's going to work for the game. So uh, I'm going to be patient, man. I'm going to be patient. Uh, do I believe we're getting an update for PvP? No. Do I believe changes are coming? Absolutely. Do I think they're going to benefit the game? Can they be useful? Yes. Because the beautiful thing is, like I said, we got to realize we do now have support going forward for this game. And that's all we ever really needed was support. So, you know, um, if you found this video helpful or, you know, if it gave you any type of insight, smash that like button if you enjoyed the content. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, man. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think, man. Peace.